morning, everyone. If you have a breaking bread book, uh, please open 326. I am the bread of life. 326. I am the bread of life. You who come to me shall not hunger, and who believe in me shall not thirst. No one can come to me unless the Father beckons. And I will raise you up, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up on the last In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. This Mass is offered to pray for Jim Fisher, for Mary, and Billy Carter. Today we also celebrate a feast of St. Junipero, Sena or Serna, a priest, a missionary Franciscan. So we ask the Lord to bless us today. I like to give thanks to God today because about 16 years ago, 2006, I was ordained in New Orleans to the priesthood as a redemptress, and I'm still here. Thank God. <laughs> it's not easy to be a priest as one thing, but to remain as a priest as another. So we thank God for many blessings in our life. About three years ago, I also assumed this job or this mission here as a pastor. So it's a lot of thanksgiving and celebration today. Lord, you are great and loving. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you share everything with us including your body and blood. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come to call us to follow you, to share that in inheritance with you. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O oh God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated to listen to the word of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Hear this, you who trample upon the needy and destroy the poor of the land. When will the new moon be over, you ask, that we may sell our grain, and the Sabbath, that we may display the wheat? We will diminish the containers of measuring, add to the weights, and fix our scales for cheating. We will buy the lowly man for silver, and the poor man for a pair of sandals. Even the refuse of the wheat we will sell. On that day, says the Lord God, I will make the sun set at midday and cover the earth with darkness in broad daylight. I will turn your feast into mourning and all your songs into lamentations. I will cover the loins of all with sackcloth and make every head bald. I will make them mourn as for an only son and bring their day to a bitter end. Yes, days are coming, says the Lord God, 
when I will send famine upon the land, not a famine of bread or thirst for water, but for hearing the word of the Lord. Then shall they wander from sea to sea and rove from the north to the east in search of the word of the Lord, but they shall not find it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. One, One does, does not, not live by bread, by bread alone, alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their hearts. One does not does live not by bread alone, alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. With all my heart I will seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. One does, does not, not live, live by bread alone, bread alone. But every word that comes from the mouth of God. My soul is consumed with longing for your ordinances at all times. One does, does not live, live by bread alone, but every word from the mouth of God. The way of truth I have chosen, I have set your ordinances before me. One, One does, does not live, live by bread alone, alone but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Behold, I long for your precepts, and your justice give me life. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word from the mouth of God. I gasp with open mouth in my yearning for your commands. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word from the mouth of God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus passed by. He saw a man named Matthew sitting at a customs post. He said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, Many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, interesting today, the reading is about the vocation story of Matthew, the tax collector. It's also today, it's my anniversary, so I want to link these two together. As you can see that God calls us everywhere. You don't have to be in the mood of prayer or in the church to be called, to be noticed by God. Yes, that's one. So God can call us while we're drinking, while we're playing, while we're eating, while we're crying, while we're singing. Everywhere. Second, God calls us first. It's not that we cause God or we seek God, but God seeks us out from the middle of nowhere. And the third one is, it's not that we are righteous or we are holy or we are handsome. Talk about handsome, I know John is a handsome man. But 
But we don't, we don't say that, oh, God called me because I'm the best. And even when you say that, next. God calls the sinner. Remember that too. Sometimes we, the way we, we choose and we select and we, the way we think is just so human, so narrow. And that is human way. If God chose the way we choose, then it's not God anymore. So God used the fool to fool the educators. God chooses the weak to defeat the strong. So today we need to remember that. And second one, and the next one, or maybe the last one I want to point out here is, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. Now today, when we put all this in the perspective that I just share with you, it is not that God desire our mercy and sacrifices. Yes, at the same time, God is merciful toward us first. Because God's mercy, that's why God called the, the text collector today, Matthew. And he became the greatest as well. Because of his pain, and he said that he stood up and followed Jesus. Yes, he gave up almost everything, his treasure, his bank account. The only one thing that he didn't give up and he brought with him, you know what it is? His pain. And because of his pain, he wrote the whole gospel according to St. Matthew for us. So maybe you have to hold on to the talents, the gifts that you have. Don't give up everything. You can give up everything, but there's one thing maybe God could use us. Now, if you connect with my stories, okay, interesting. God called me quite a few times. The very first time when I was maybe 12 years old, a little boy came out from CCD about 8 o'clock p.m. in Vietnam. I still remember that spot. Right out there on the corner of the street, my cousin, my friend, and I, we say, one, two, three, priest. 20 years later, I became priest. Now, I didn't remember those moments until one day recollected. And then when I was about 20-some years old, I was a mechanic fixing cars in West Bank, Marrero, in New Orleans. And there was a question came to me. Can a car fixer fix a soul? And the answer for that was yet. Yes, a car fixer can fix a soul. Now, I joined the Redemptors, and the two big charisms Redemptors have that John shared yesterday, confession and preaching. As a confessor, I could hear your breath of yearning, longing, and asking God for forgiveness. And in those small period of time, God gave me special gift to be able to say, this is what you should do. And if you're doing this, you will be free. You will be happy. You will be fulfilled. So I'm so grateful for God has given me even a mechanic, loving, love fixing cars. And God could even use a mechanic to build the kingdom of God. And since then, I travel all the United States <laughs> and I'm doing all kinds of works and I enjoy it so much every day to this day. I want to thank God for calling me to this awesome vocation and even to give me a special, I say, put me in as a pastor here. God loved this church so much that God had to equip me and give me extra, I call smartness, so that I could make sure, preserve this church and build this church here uh, for him. And so may God bless us today and everything we do for the glory of God. Amen. Please stand and let us offer to God a few prayers today.
We pray for all the vocations out there, especially our young vocations, that the church continue to nurture that and call and ask the master of the harvest to send out more men and women courageously and generously respond to God's call. We pray to the Lord. We thank God for calling Matthew so that we have a beautiful stories and gospel to meditate and to follow Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. What else should we pray today? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. I'd like to pray and give thanks to, uh, to God for all the group of men uh, working on the football field right now and our school this day to clean and make it maybe more beautiful and safe. May God bless them and protect them from all dangers. We pray to the Lord. Loving and gracious God, we thank you for giving us another day to live and to enjoy your beauty and your goodness. Grant all our prayers and the prayers deep in our hearts. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, to your goodness we have received this bread to offer you food of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mysteries of this water and wine that we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, to your goodness we have received this wine to offer you. Food of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us the spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you might be worthy of this sacred gift. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. 
Make holy that for these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be got into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially those we mentioned in this Mass, who have fallen asleep in the hope, the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that will a blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles, Saint Jared, all the saints, and have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Every Eucharist Mass is a thanksgiving. And so at this moment, let us give thanks to God for so many blessings we have received in our lives. And so together we pray the prayer Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from our distress we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with each other the sigh of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Blessed the Lord, O my soul, and all within me, his holy name. body and blood of Christ. The 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 body and blood of Christ. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I want to use this time, I know it's my anniversary, but I want to give thanks to God for uh, Michael Drain here. Uh, I don't know how long he's been serving this, but his birthday this Monday, July 4th. Uh, so God bless you, Michael, for always being available and open the church for us and make sure everything is under control. So thank you, Michael, for <laughs> wonderful... Um, service here and each one of you because of you I'm still here <laughs> if you don't show up for mass I will do it for the empty church so I, I would love to thank you and journey with me uh, day and night and ups and downs and pray for me as well and uh, even encourage me sometime uh, so thank you very much so God bless you pray for me that I continue to be uh, available approachable and also uh, amazing, <laughs> the three A's for you. God be with you and have a wonderful day. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace and glorify the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God.